my friends. Welcome to St. George Dragon Summer Camp again. You know, I was thinking, this has been such a great summer, such nice weather we've been having, and I love doing things outside. One of my favorite things to do in the summer is to blow bubbles. How about you? So I have a great story about Curly and bubbles. So how about we start by listening to this story? Come on over. All right. The title of our story is Curly's Fun with Bubbles. It already looks like a good time. Hi, my name is Curly and I like bubbles. I like to blow bubbles, play with bubbles, and pop bubbles. I'm not talking about bubblegum bubbles. No way. I like to blow bubbles with a wand. <laughs> oh my, what a mess. This is my special wand. I use this wand when I blow bubbles. Would you like to see? I can blow small bubbles and I can blow big bubbles. Sometimes I blow the bubbles too big and they pop. I can blow one bubble or I can blow more than one bubble. Can you count the bubbles with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bubbles. Once I went to the circus and I met a clown. His name was Bobby. Bobby the clown blew the most beautiful bubbles I ever, I ever saw. I couldn't count them all. I also met Mac the amazing magician. Mac pulled a bunny blowing bubbles from his magic hat. That was the best trick ever. I may not have a magic bunny like Mac the Amazing Magician, but I do have a dog. Her name is Giggles. She and I play the bubble pop game. I blow bubbles and Giggles jumps into the air to pop them. Sometimes my dad will play with us. He'll blow the bubbles for Giggles and me to pop. My dad may pop a few too. It always makes me laugh. I have the most fun blowing bubbles with my friends. We like to show each other the tricks we can do. I can blow a bubble, catch it, and balance it on my wand. Oh, very cool. My friend Heather can blow bubbles while jumping rope. My friend Daryl can blow bubbles while roller skating. And my friend Sasha can blow bubbles while twirling in a circle but sometimes she makes herself dizzy. <laughs> it's a lot of bubbles. We all like to blow bubbles at the same time and watch them fly high into the sky. Oops. At night before bed, I like to take a bubble bath. It's so much fun to splish splash in the bath and play with bubbles. When I finish my bath, and it's time for bed, that means no more bubbles. I get a little sad. Then I fall asleep and I dream about bubbles. One night I dreamed I was a superhero and I saved a kitten that was stuck in a tree. I blew a super bubble, floated up to the branch and rescued the kitten. I was proud to be the hero and save the day. When I wake up the next morning, I'm so excited. I get to blow bubbles and play with my family and friends all over again. What is she doing? Looks like she's blowing bubbles in her chocolate milk. <laughs> Here's a bubble poem. Blowing bubbles is easy and it's really cool. I know if you'd try it, you'd think so too. 
Blowing bubbles is fun. I'm sure you'll agree. When you blow bubbles, you're filled with glee. What a great story. I don't have any bubbles though at my house. Phooey, I wish I did. I have an idea. How about if we make some bubbles with some things we have at home? Want to give it a try? All right, let's get our things together. I've got my ingredients to make some homemade bubbles. I think you probably have all these things in your house too. Here's our three ingredients. We need water, just regular water from the sink. We need some dish soap and we need some sugar. That's it. All right, so how much water and soap sugar do we need? Let's go through. I have my measuring spoons and this is called a tablespoon. It's the biggest one. These are all smaller and this one's the biggest one, a tablespoon. I need four tablespoons of water. So I have my bowl and I'm going to put four tablespoons of water in here. Okay, so I'm gonna count them out. I have one, two, how many more? Three, four, two more, here we go. Three and four. Okay, we're done with our water. Our next thing is our dish soap. And I need one tablespoon of dish soap. All right, so I'm gonna take my dish soap and I'm gonna pour it on my spoon. And I'm gonna fill it all the way up so that it's one tablespoon. And I'm gonna pour that in there. Okay, see that? All right. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wipe off my tablespoon here. And normally I would wash this if I was inside, but I'm just gonna wipe it off. And then I'm not gonna use the rest of this sugar again because I just put soap in there. All right. So you would probably wash it before you put it in your um, sugar bowl. All right, and now I have one, we needed two tablespoons of sugar. So one and two, two tablespoons of sugar. Now here's what the sugar does. The sugar makes the balloon, the balloons, makes the bubbles a little bouncy. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. All right, so I've got my water, my soap, and my sugar. And I just gently mix it. I wanna mix that until it feels like the sugar is all mixed in there. So see how I can still see my sugar? I've gotta mix that in. I'm gonna gently keep mixing till I feel like the sugar is all dissolved. That's a big word. Dissolved means that it's all mixed in with the water. All right, I think we might be ready. Now I don't have a bubble wand because I didn't buy a bottle of bubbles. I just used what I had at home. All right, so I thought of some other things that we could use for a bubble wand. So I have some, these are called pipe cleaners. They're little art supplies. So you could use a pipe cleaner. And watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it into a bubble wand. So I'm just gonna take my end and then I'm gonna twist that so it stays there. Mommy and Daddy could help you with this. And then I'm gonna fold the other end just so I have a little handle to hold on to. All right, now here's my handle and I can dunk this into my bubble mixture. And I'm gonna try and make some bubbles. Oh, that one popped really fast. Let's try again. Ooh, did you see it? There it goes. Can you see the bubble? Away it goes. All right, now, we're, I'm gonna try again, but watch what I'm gonna do this time. This is a special trick. Remember where I told you that this makes bouncy bubbles? If I take a winter glove, and it works best if it's a knit winter glove, if it's something soft, and I'm gonna see if I can 
bounce or catch some of the bubbles on my glove. All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna blow it kinda high this time. Oh, rats, I popped that one. But that's okay, we've got lots, we can keep trying. All right, let's try again. Oops. Nope, all right. <laughs> outside so they're just taking off super fast oh my goodness these bubbles maybe I don't want to be outside <laughs> see it bouncing oh it was going after Patrick here's another one oh <laughs> all right. okay let's try it one more time all right Oh, did you see it bounce on the glove a little bit? All right. Okay, let's try. Maybe you don't have pipe cleaners, but I did another one in the heart, in the heart shape of a heart. Isn't that one cute? We could try to blow heart shaped bubbles. That would be fun too. Woo, look at that one. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have some other things that you can try too. That one's still floating around over there. I have, this is called a funnel. Mommy or daddy might have a funnel. And you can take this end and dip it in. This is all stuff that you might have at home. You don't even have to go to the store. All right, so I can dump that end and I can try and blow a bubble that way. Let's see. Nope, no luck. Nope. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Nope. All right, let's try something else. That one worked inside. Outside's a little bit different, but I could also try a straw. Nope. <laughs> oh, I got a couple of little ones. Did you see those? There goes one. All right, one last thing you could try at home is just a cup. I just poked a hole in the end, so I had a place to blow, and I can do this. Are you right there? Huh? Gotta blow harder. Gotta blow harder, you think? Yeah, oh. a little bit less hard. Come on, right away. <laughs> oh, you're right there, Bob, it's right on the end. Oh, I gave up. Okay. Ooh, so those pop right away. But lots of fun things you can do just with what you have at home to make some bubbles, to do something a little fun. All right, would you like to sing a bubble song now? All right, ready? Here's how it goes. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles in my hair. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles on my shoe, on my shoe. There are bubbles on my shoe, on my shoe. There are bubbles on my shoe, and I don't know what to do. There are bubbles on my shoe, on my shoe. There are bubbles in the sky, in the sky. There are bubbles in the sky, in the sky. There are bubbles in the sky. I'll try and pop them with my thigh. There are bubbles in the sky, in the sky. All right, that was a lot of good work today. I've kind of worked up a little bit of an appetite. I think I might want a snack. Grapes are a nice snack. Do you know, Mrs. O'Connor has a fun, great recipe. Do you want to see that next? All right, enjoy. Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. O'Connor. 
I'm here with another fun uh, a recipe for you guys to try at home. This one's called rainbow grapes, and this is what you need to make your rainbow grapes. So I'm gonna set this down here on the side. And so basically what you need uh, are some green grapes, toothpicks, some water, and all different colors, any colors you like of jello. So we're gonna put those into our little bowls here, and it's just the powder, just like that. And you're gonna set those aside. So I have strawberry, I have a berry blue, I have a grape and an orange. So basically, all you need to do is grab a toothpick, grab a grape, Stick it inside your grape. Now you do need to let these dry for about an hour after you dip them. So you dip them in water, just like that. And we'll start with the red strawberry, one of my favorites. And what you wanna do is get it nice and wet. And then what you wanna do is you don't wanna swirl it inside, but what you wanna do is hold it above here and you wanna just dump the powder on the grape, just like that. So it's gonna get all covered inside of the powder, the Jello powder. And you're gonna set that off to the side and we'll make another one. Why don't we try blue? So we're gonna wet that grape and I'm gonna get my blue. I think this is berry blue. And we're gonna take it right over. We're gonna dump some of that powder on there, just like that. And get it all covered there. This is a fun thing to do, easy, and it tastes great. And you're gonna set that off to the side. So we're gonna make a couple more. And like I said, you do need to let these dry for about an hour or so. I'm gonna dip that in the water there. We're gonna make another blue one. I'm outside thinking it was a nice day today and I could share this with you outside. Hopefully you guys could hear over some of the noise. Sometimes it's real quiet and sometimes not so quiet. We'll set that one off to the side and let's do another one. Let's try purple. Get our purple. Set that to one side there. Okay, it's all wet with the water. And then you're gonna take your spoon and cover that grape up with all that jello. There you go. And we're gonna set that off to the side so it can dry. You do need to let this dry for about an hour or so, and you can put it in a bowl and just eat them like that. You can put them in an ice cream cone or a waffle bowl, and this is the finished product. You see all of the reds and the blues and the purples and the oranges at the bottom? These are your grapes after you're done. You could snack on those and they're delicious, they're sweet. Uh, so it's a little bit of everything. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you soon, bye.